Number 12. Your wedding vendor should eat with the guests and not be fed a soggy club sandwich in the janitor's closet. From years, in fact 17 years of experience, the more brides and grooms treat me as a vendor as a guest, the more likely their unpaid guests will respect us too. I find it rather ironic that the nicest venues that I go to have some sort of attitude toward the disc jockey, the bands, the photographers, and the videographers. And they actually encourage the bride and groom to shovel these professionals off who should actually be part of the event involved during the action, you know, because there's action that goes on during dinner. And they'll shovel them off with a plate of moldy, uh, moldy cold cuts. I'm not kidding. Wouldn't it make sense that these pros be right near the action? Not to mention, if you treat your vendors like second class citizens, how do you think that affects their attitude? Your pros that night of your event will bend over backwards to treat you wonderfully if you just treat them with the same respect that you do your guests. Professional wedding vendors will definitely go the extra mile for you when you treat them right. Number 13, we've got four left. Consider not doing a dollar dance. Why? Well, the reason's simple. When the bride and groom are doing this, the guests realize that they won't be seen slipping out the door and it definitely stops the momentum of a great party. If you must do a dollar dance, do it early on after the main dances and limit it to three, th to three songs maximum.